polymer. Polymerization. Most monomer, most monomer, they come from the crude oil as ethene. And when this monomer, they link together, they form into a large molecule of repeating. We call it a polymer. And that's called a polymerization. And actually, that is two major types of polymerization. Two major types. One type we have already learned called the addition polymerization. Now, I'm going to focus another type called condensation polymerization. Now, let's start. Of these two types of polymerization, let's quick revise of the addition polymerization. On the addition polymerization of this is made from an individual monomer double bond ethene and they link into a polymer as follows. And now they form into a long chain of polymer and that's the rule of polymerization. And now let's study about the condensation polymerization. Condensation polymerization, they will condense together of each individual monomer as follows. They condensing. They condense. and further condense. And further, con further condense. They both end up to be a long chain of hydrocarbon or long chain of polymer. And they form it in a different way. So one is called addition polymerization Another is called condensation polymerization. Now we focus condensation polymerization. As from addition polymerization, earlier we learned double bond open up link form into chain as individual monomer and the polymer different. Now we're going to focus on the condensation polymerization and see how's the difference. If you look onto the condensation polymerization, they will have one rule. You will see in each molecule, they will have two functioning group. This functioning group and this functioning group. And these two functioning group will link up together to bond it together. And in each bond, there will be a water molecule removed. As in this example, this functioning group and this functioning group will bind together. When they bind together, a water molecule produce. This functioning group and this functioning group bind together. Once they bind together, a water molecule is produced. So, by condensation polymerization, it can be quite a complex molecule beyond a year 12 student. But you can determine by looking at when the time they linking together, if that you see that is a water molecule produced, you, can, you will know this is a condensation polymerization. Here's some example. Nylon. Nylon is a condensation polymerization. Those nylon string. How do you tell? The molecule itself, of course, is too complex for you to understand. And you don't need to worry about the name. As you see here, this is this functioning group of this functioning group and this functioning group. They will link up together into a bond and you know on each bonding there is a water being produced and you know this is a this is a condensation 
Another example, polyester, we call pet plastic. And the same group, that is a functioning group linked together. Then the molecule is so complex beyond you understand. But you can see when they join together, the water produced, and you know this is a condensation polymerization. In nature, that is a condensation that is on happen onto the cellulose and starch, and they are made of glucose which link together. At the bottom of the picture, he demonstrates. If you look onto a piece of wood, or if you look onto the plant structure, under the microscope, you will see there's many long chain of fiber. But if you look onto each chain of fiber, and you look onto the individual unit, the individual unit actually is a glucose. And this glucose link with another glucose together to form into a chain. The formula like this. Glucose plus glucose and they will bond together. And in each bonding, a water being removed. Because water removed, I know this is a condensation polymerization. So student, you require to memorize C6H12O6 as glucose. And this is the common formula you should know. And as to the formula of the linking, you can deduce it by logic. Because each one of each unit, the water being removed. So this 2H and 1O being removed on each bonding. And that is the water. So you can use your logic to deduce the bonding that you will form on each linking.